Hello, my name is Lee Wood Thomas and this is my response to both episodes of Paula's On Now that recently aired about the topic of discrimination against atheists in America. Let's start with the original show that aired January 31st. And welcome back. We're talking about whether there's widespread discrimination against atheists, folks who don't believe in God. Let's check in with our out in the open panel now, Stephen Smith, Debbie Schlussel, and Karen Hunter. Hey, Debbie, it took me 10 times to say your name right. <laughs> Steve Smith is an ESPN sports writer. Debbie Schlussel is an attorney and conservative columnist. And Karen Hunter, who likes on, is in the prof journalism profession, is in fact a professor of journalism. What a qualified group of folks to speak about discrimination that atheists face. So do you think <laughs> atheists should keep their religious belief secret? They don't or have what's any religious What's their the beliefs, what, period, what, secret. What is their belief? What does an atheist believe? Nothing, right? I, I think this is such a ridiculous story. Um, are we going to take in, in, in God we trust off of our dollars? Uh, are we going to not say one nation under, under God? When does it end? You know, we took prayer out of schools. What more do they want? Now this is the professor, and she gets it right when it comes to new supernatural belief in deities, we don't believe in them. But to answer her next string of questions, yes, I personally would like to see In God We Trust removed off of U.S. currency. I personally have found that the more I use my debit card, the less I actually have to use the In God We Trust money. But I do find it to be a violation of the separation of church and state. I also believe that we should restore the pledge back to its original form without under God mixed in with our allegiance to this great nation. And finally, we took teacher-sanctioned prayer out of public schools. Children are free to pray when and wherever they want to. There's no one trying to stop anyone from praying. It's the promoting one religion over another. That is what we stopped. Are any of you going to defend them here tonight? Yeah. No, I, I agree with her 100%. I think that um, the real discrimination is atheists against Americans who are religious. Listen, we are a Christian nation. I'm not a Christian. I'm Jewish. But I recognize we're a Christian country. And freedom of religion doesn't mean freedom from religion. And the problem is that you have these atheists selectively, I believe, attacking Christianity. You had a case in California where school children were forced to dress as Muslims and learn from the Quran. Um, in Michigan, there's a high school, Fortson High School, where they say Muslim prayers at the football games at a public high school, Fortson High School. You don't see atheists complaining about that. I really believe that they are the ones who are the intolerant ones against Christians. Okay, I looked into the instances that she cited and I came up with nothing. I even emailed her to ask for the links to sites that might have had the stories. I got nothing there as well. Christians tend to get the brunt of the atheist retaliation because it's the Christians who are trying to impose their beliefs upon the whole nation. I believe I have Christians to thank for not being able to go and buy a legal adult beverage just because it's Sunday. That's imposing your beliefs on others, which is what atheists have problems with. What happened to love that neighbor and the idea that we should be able to I, I, I practice mean, free that's, speech? That's, that's non-existent. We all know that. We talk about that in America, but that's pretty much non-existent, especially in the red states, particularly the South. That's where the atheists are having the most trouble when they talk about violent acts that have been enacted against them or what have exacted against them or what have you. That's the kind of area that they're talking about. I think in New York City, I don't think people care too much about it. We're, we're a Christian country. There's no question about that. I love the Lord. So does Karen. So does everybody that I know. But the reality is, is that you, you're entitled to believe what you want as long as you're not you know I imposing your beliefs on other people you so be it you know, well, wait, is that what you think they're really doing imposing the their beliefs they, they don't have a good, good marketing they, they have a hard PR rep and they don't have good marketing I mean look if they had Hallmark cards you know maybe they wouldn't feel so left out you know we have Christmas cards we even have Kwanzaa cards now maybe they need to get some atheist cards and get that whole ball rolling so more people can get involved with what they're doing I think they need to shut up and and let people do what I they do with that. and stay in there I like, no I think they need I don't to think they need to shut up Remember again that this is the journalism professor that is advocating against the freedom of speech here. She's got some nerve. I emailed all four panelists after this aired and gave them my two cents worth. Hunters was the only one that responded back to me. I emailed her stating that I was appalled that she could even be a part of a panel that had no advocate to represent the topic, the atheist. She answered back with, is it my responsibility as a guest to demand balance? Have you taken your concerns up with CNN? As a citizen, I'm entitled to my own opinion. Now, my reply to this was that I felt as a journalism professor that she should have had the personal insight to ask Zahn or the producer or the panelist who was the atheist or the advocate for the show. I used a comparison. What if four whites were on there talking about discrimination against African Americans? That just wouldn't fly. And this didn't either as we learned later. I just felt that she really should have known better. 
the reason why I don't think they need to shut up is because there's a whole bunch of people in this world that we can look at and say they need to shut up, and they certainly don't. You've got everybody fighting for their own individual cause. This is their cause. We I might not like it. I don't I agree with it at all, Steve, but they, they do have a right. Up. Thank you, Mr. Smith, and I said just that in my email to him. I think they need to shut up about and crying wolf all the time and saying that they're being imposed upon. I, I personally think that they should never have taken prayer out of schools. I, 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 agree ra with I rather, you 100%. I rather so there be some morality in the schools, but they t did that because an atheist went to court and said their child th then don't pray. And, and what don't about pray, this? Don't say one nation under God. But wait don't, a minute. And what, what about this obnoxious Michael Newdow who went to all the way to the mm -hmm. Supreme Court um, for his child? The child doesn't know what's going on to try and get under God taken out of the Pledge of Allegiance. They are on the attack, and it's obnoxious, and they do need to shut up. They You're have right. Been on the in my emails to Mrs. Hunter, I stated that atheists are not trying to change in God we trust to in no God do we trust, which is how I believe, but I realized that we live in America with others that don't profess to that way of thinking, so I wouldn't impose that on them. But the reality, again, is everybody <laughs> right has their own cause, and the fact is there's a whole bunch of people in America who need to shut up, and they don't. So why should these people be any less? We live in a nation, we're supposed to be tolerant, we're supposed to be in accepting of other people's viewpoints, even when they are not our own. And the fact is, if they're an atheist, that's, it, that's their right. right. They're not going to change my belief in God. What I they're find so interesting is when you look at those statistics, that they were the most hated of all the minorities. Gays, they're, more I'm than not, black. I'm not even willing the to believe atheist. that. That's news <laughs> to me. But I mean, you, I heard that, I read that, I just don't believe I it. Didn't. Well, believe it. I think it's true. And here's another statistic that you may not believe. The ratio of atheists to theists in prisons is completely out of whack with the population in America. With atheists comprising of around 10% of the general population, it would stand to reason that we'd be 10% of the prison population. That's just not the case. I believe atheists make up maybe 1%. I'm going to go out on a limb here, but that sounds a little more like we're the ethical, moral members of society, doesn't it? Well, you can't pick an atheist out of a crowd. I mean, right. I'm no, sorry. But, you can, come you know. on. but can you explain to me where you feel the assault? When when 97 percent of the folks in this country claim to worship some well, kind of God, the, the, so you have one to three percent of this population that doesn't believe in God. Well, actually, it's more like eight percent, eight to twelve percent, according to the latest whose numbers you believe. It. You know, they're not hurting anyone, and I don't. I don't personally have a problem with an atheist. Believe or don't believe what you want. Exactly. Don't impose upon my right to 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 want to have prayer in schools, to want to say the pledge of allegiance, to want to honor my but God. When they don't say, infringe but when upon they say, that when right. They, when, they want to take, when they want to take God out of the Pledge of Allegiance or what have you, this is what I'm saying. If you, you, they're saying, okay, that's Christian. What if you're a Muslim? What if you're somebody of a different yeah, belief? This is, this is precisely why having a secular government is so important to everyone. Yeah, but this is you know, a Christian country. I understand that, but what they're saying is, how could, if, we're inclusion, if we're inclusionary, why can't we include well, all that? And we're, we're not. not. That's, that's my point. That's, that's, that's the hypocrisy, you know and that's what I'm you getting know what, to. Let's look at that's Europe, where, where there are more atheists, and where they've lost God, where the church is not that strong. Europe is becoming Islamist. It's fast falling, and intolerance is increasing. That's the one reason our country has not become like Europe, because we have strong Christians. And because because atheists are not strong, and I think that's a good thing. On that note, I gotta cut it off. I tell you that if atheists keep catching this kind of slander uttered especially in the media, we won't be in the closet much longer. No one should have to take this kind of verbal abuse without being present to stand up for our convictions. This concluded the original segment.